This video is covering amoeba specifically. It is one of those organisms that fits into the protista kingdom. And just to look over the protista kingdom, the characteristics of protists are that they are eukaryotic and they don't fit into any of the other kingdoms. So they're not fungi, they're not plants and they're not animals. In our course, we study the amoeba, one of the most famous of the protists, and it's important that you can draw and label a diagram of this unicellular organism. Amoebas generally live in fresh water, so in puddles, lakes, rivers, streams, anywhere where there's fresh water. But be aware that there are saltwater varieties as well. Amoeba are these unicellular little creatures, and they have a very specific structure. Uh, the big key feature is that they are eukaryotic organisms, so they do have membrane bound organelles and they do have a nucleus. So amoeba are eukaryotic and the way in which they obtain and use their food, their mode of nutrition, is that they are heterotrophs or heterotrophic. They cannot make their own food. Amoeba eat many things, for example, other protists like algae and bacteria. They move towards their food by forming these cytoplasmic projections called pseudopodia, sometimes called pseudopods and often referred to as false feet. So these projections surround the food and the food gets taken into the amoeba trapped in this structure that's formed called a food vacuole. Into the food vacuole, sometimes acid is secreted to kill the prey and then digestive enzymes are secreted from the cytoplasm into the food vacuole to break down or digest that food. The nutrients are then absorbed into the cytoplasm. So when labelling or drawing an amoeba, it's important to always label the membrane, a pseudopod, or you can label pseudopodia, a contractile vacuole, the nucleus, a food vacuole is very important, and then the two types of cytoplasm, endoplasm, which is watery and not that thick, and ectoplasm, which is more viscous or more stiff. Freshwater amoeba have a very serious problem with trying to control water content or osmoregulation because their cytoplasm is more concentrated than the environment in which they live. So water will constantly try to enter the amoeba. For this reason, the amoeba uses this structure known as the contractile vacuole. It fills up with all of that excess water and eventually gets so large that it fuses with the membrane of the amoeba, bursts and expels the water. And this continually happens. If it didn't, the amoeba would simply burst. Amoeba that live in salt water conditions or marine amoeba, they don't need a contractile vacuole. Why? Because their cytoplasm is not more concentrated than the water in which they live. And so there will not be a net movement of water from outside the amoeba to inside the amoeba. The amoeba is a protist, therefore it's eukaryotic. It's heterotrophic, meaning that it cannot make its own food. It moves by forming these projections known as pseudopodia. It osmoregulates if it's a fresh water variety by forming a contractile vacuole. And it feeds by surrounding its food and forming these food vacuoles into which are secreted digestive enzymes. So this is just a summary video. You always have to use your textbook and you must be doing past papers and checking the answers. Good luck.